Hello and welcome to this video. This is part two to my demonstration with the metronome of the third movement of Samuel Barber's Excursions, Opus 20. In the last video, I demonstrated it at around half speed or less, which is 42 beats per quarter note, the speed that I've chosen. That makes 42 beats per half note full speed. This video is going to demonstrate at three quarters speed. So if you take 42 and you take 42 is half speed, if you take 84 is full speed, halfway between those is 63. So um, in this video, and in just a minute or two, um, you, can, you can stay tuned for that, and I will play it at 63 beats per minute. It actually flows much easier. It's actually easier to play. Once you get it at half speed, really well at half speed, getting it to three-quarters speed is not that difficult, really. It only took me like a, another day to do that, another couple hours to work it up to that. And then, uh, of course, after that, I'm going to try to work it up to full speed, which is 42 beats per half note, or, or 84 per quarter note. Now, you might argue that, well, Barber marks it much faster than that. Why don't I choose 60? Well, the reason is that personal taste, for one thing. I just think it's way too fast at 60. I think Barber just chose a much too fast of a metronome mark. metronome mark. I don't think it works well at that speed. Uh, I think the piece suffers because of speed. I think many people play it too fast. Uh, look up the pianist John Browning, the great late American pianist John Browning, and look up his, uh, listen to his performance of this, and you will discover that he plays it almost exactly at 42 beats per half note, just like I recommend. Now, I just stumbled across his recording after I came to my own conclusion. So I'm not choosing that tempo because John Browning chooses that tempo. I'm choosing that tempo because that's the tempo that my intuition told me to go to. And I just happened to find John Browning's recording. John Browning is considered to be the uh, probably the leading interpreter of Samuel Barber's music. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love his interpretation of it because he doesn't speed he doesn't speed up in these sections here where you, have, where you have those. He doesn't speed up like everyone does. Uh, he plays it all from beginning to end at one, pretty much one constant speed, as if he were playing with a metronome. But, of course, you know, there's the expression involved in it, which makes it sound like it's not metronomic. So, anyway, I've spoken enough. Sit back and uh, listen to it now at about three quarters speed as I play it at 63, 63 beats per minute per quarter note. 